What's up guys? We're on the Matco truck today, so y'all come take a look, see what Michael's got. Really nice. Sold the light, huh? Sold the light. Sold it, sold it. That was a cool light. What you thinking, Bill? What you done found cool? Shopping, huh? Mm hmm. Boy, I'm up there. Nice. Oh, I got a lot of guys rave about those. How good they are. Bill got to use his new chisel set like he had the other day. What was it, yesterday? He used that. Yesterday, that boy, you Works good. Works really good. Y'all's air hoses lifetime guarantee? Not sure. Let me look. I don't want to lie to you. No, they're actually just one year. One this year. Is, uh, this is the field repairable one, though. You just cut it and reinstall it. That you just undo that, cut it wherever it's messed up, and slide it back together. Yeah. So I guess it just depends on where it messes up. <laughs> Usually in the middle. That's the bad part. Yeah. Easy soldering uh, holder. So you slide both sides down, put your wire in there, and the solder comes up. So you're holding both the wire and the solder in one hand, and you just simply. Wow. So. So you just put a new roll of solder in it. Yeah, it has refill kits that you can put in it. So. Like you got to have one. It's pretty sharp. Man. Yeah, you just slide your wire in there, and slide it in that side, and solder away, right? So it takes a special solder, I guess. So just regular solder and roll won't work, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. I know we sell the solder, but I, I haven't took it apart to see. I'm, I'm pretty sure to be able to go in that, it had to be a certain type. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. What are those usually run? I think they're around 70 ish dollars. What's the solder refills called? Let me look it up right quick. That way we can, we can be sure. Yeah, the clamp is $74 and the refill is $9. Okay, so I ain't much higher than regular solder than you. No. That's a short rig right there. Yeah, it would make it a lot easier. I never got to see the cool stuff. Oh, it's just a little cool. So, you know, I you, bet you could buy those I, tubes. I bet you, you could know. buy them, yeah. yeah. We can't take it apart. Yeah, we can't take it apart and look at it. What good is it, right? That's pretty neat. I guarantee them little tubes would go right in there. I bet that's how the refill kits come. No more yeah. plastic tubes. So that makes an air hammer pull right there, huh? Yep, that turns it into a pull hammer. Oh, So, yeah. Here, let me take an air hammer down. I want to shoot it up. So 
that's in there. Now, what a lot of people were talking about using it for is like on axles and stuff too. I mean, ball joints and other stuff as well. Anything you could use a pull hammer on, but that's go right around your axle on your front wheel drives. Mm -hmm. You'd screw it on like so. Well, I'm having such a hard trouble. Probably put this up together today. So basically, you're pulling. You got it facing towards you while you're using it. Yes, it turns your air hammer backwards. So let's just say we had it all the way up tight. I'd put it on the axle just like that, hold the gun. And as it pushed out, it'd be hammering the axle or whatever else. Right, I got you. It makes, it, it makes that daunting task sometimes of trying to have a pry bar and air hammer all at the same time. So we call that the te Texas Twister and we really it actually also fits in, they made it to where the adapters fit all of our um, other air hammer stuff. So like our step pickle forks and stuff like that, yeah. they'll screw on the end of end too. So anything that you need as far as that. That is so. pretty cool. So you got a slide hammer in the garbage. So what other kind of attachments it come with? Uh, it's got a lot of different uh, angles and stuff here. Uh, got uh, adapters and stuff like that, but I know it has your regular style there, just your regular hook there. Let's see what I'll... I know it fits all of our air hammer attachments, so. Got your seal remover, your J hook, stuff like that. Universal flat blade. It's got a, it's got a couple of different. That's just another. That's what you need. You got to take it there in that way. Yeah. Just slip it up in there. Cover tail, right? This has got a pretty cool case to it. I think I left it back there. Sure. Thanks for the hand, you wouldn't have Boy, that's a nice set. You see that, Bill? Well, and we actually have one. I like that set, too. But we actually have one that this is ratcheting. So you never mm -hmm. move it, you just move the handle, and it's like a ratchet. That's pretty cool to me. Especially for the hot spots to where that's hitting on everything. You can just put it in one spot and use a ratchet handle. You're going through that heat. That blind rivet was pretty cool. I know uh, Jason and his dealer did a little demo on how to Yeah, I know. We kind of touched, uh, touched on it kind of quick. Um, that was a pretty cool we're tool. We're going to find some time that me and you got to, to play with some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, they got the... the nut insert too. Well, I know we talked about it. Yeah. They really like it as well. That thing was pretty sharp. How it worked. Pretty cool.
Matco video we did, somebody was wanting to know the part number on the black and green box that Michael's got in here. And it is a very pretty box. And he is going to help you guys out with that. Part number is 6325RP-BBG. 6325RP. RP dash BBG dash BBG and it's a 6S with the bowling ball top and how long is that box? Uh, how long? Here Bill, hold my gun Oh okay, you got it. 77 inches. 77? That's a horse of a box. So there you go. Take care you guys. Guys, y'all say Michael had a lot of stuff on the truck today. I didn't purchase anything today. Um, I said a lot of stuff I wanted, but you know, you gotta kind of weigh your wants and needs out. So we'll be definitely getting some more stuff later from Michael, but we're super slammed in the shop. As you guys can see, there's a transmission job going. We got another truck in front of this truck that we gotta work on and also two other trucks sitting in the parking lot. We gotta get finished before five o'clock today, so. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe down there below, and we will catch you guys next time. Y'all have a great one.